Hello cherry lovers and welcome to Joyce's Kitchen. Today I will be making a creamy Cajun chicken pasta. So let's get started. Okay, what we're going to do here is begin with the chicken breast. I have two large chicken breasts here and I'm going to place them in the bag. And remember that all of the ingredients will be found below the video. You want to take a gallon size, this is a gallon size Ziploc bag. Place your chicken breast in there and begin to tenderize them. Do not overdo it. You don't want to get them too flat. So just tenderize them. Okay, now that the chicken breasts are nice and tenderized, we're gonna take them out of the bag and we're going to cover them with the seasonings that I got made up here. And what you're gonna do is sprinkle this all over your chicken and rub it in. This is a combination of Old Bay seasoning, Cajun seasoning, onion powder, garlic powder, paprika, and parsley. So make sure that you fully cover your chicken on every crack, crevice, and corner. Get it completely covered, rubbing it in as much as is possible. You're going to find that this is going to be juicy and tender. An amazing recipe and my family loves it. So we wanna make sure we get that completely covered. And you're going to flip that over and continue covering your chicken completely. Okay, now we want to Get that rubbed in really good. That's a pretty good sized chicken breast. <laughs> okay. All right. That's fully covered. Now let's go to the next step. Next, we're going to add about four or five tablespoons of your oil and let that heat up for about a minute. Let it get hot and I'll show you what to do next. Okay, next we're going to add the chicken. My skillet is not big enough for two pieces so we're going to do one at a time and that's perfectly okay. And what you want to do is just let that brown, not over brown, don't let it burn, but let it brown, I've got it on about a medium, a little less than a medium. Let that brown on one side, takes about five to 10 minutes, depending on the size of your chicken breast, and then we will flip that over. Okay, we're gonna flip this gently. Look at that, guys. Look at that color. That's what we want. Now we're gonna let this side cook for about five to 10 more minutes. And we'll take that out and get started on the next one. Okay, that is perfect in color. Look at that, guys. Isn't that beautiful? Nice and juicy. I'm going to remove that and put it on my cutting board. And I'm going to let that cool for a few minutes while I make the sauce. Okay, now I'm going to sprinkle in here two teaspoons of salt. This is for your penne pasta. We're going to let that come to a boil. Okay, let's add in our, our, as you can see, our water is boiling. <laughs> I think that's a little too much water for that pot, but that's okay. Slowly, Joyce, I do everything fast. <laughs> okay, we're going to stir that and let that cook. The boiling directions on the uh, container says seven to nine minutes, so we're gonna let that cook for seven minutes and that will be all Dante. Okay, Panay is ready. Cool. Okay, now we're just not to splatter that everywhere. Strain that through. And then we're going to make sure all the water is out. And then we're going to pour it back into the pot and set it aside. And then we will continue. Okay, guys, I hope you're enjoying this video. 
Next, we're going to make up this amazing Cajun sauce. We're going to add in our onions and the grease right behind, same place that we took the chicken out of. Add the onions in there. And right with that, we're going to add in the tomatoes and red pepper. And give that a little stir. And we're going to cook that for about three to five minutes, whatever time it takes for those onions to become very translucent. And you will smell the beautiful fragrance once it gets there. Okay, now I have here is a tablespoon of butter. We're going to add that in there. And let that simmer as it mixes up. And that butter gives it a really nice flavor. So we're going to melt that down and continue to let that cook until those onions are translucent. Okay, our onions are nice and translucent and fragrant. Smells really, really good. The next thing we're going to add in is our cream. And then we're going to give that a stir. That mixed in there. And then we're going to add in a teaspoon of garlic and then give that a stir. And next we're going to add in a teaspoon of chicken bouillon and then stir that. And the next thing we're going to add is our Cajun seasoning. Now, one teaspoon of Cajun seasoning might give you a slight flavor, but I added two teaspoons of Cajun seasoning, which again, I will add in my recipe because I like a little bit of kick. So we're going to add that Cajun seasoning up. And next I'm going to add in a quarter cup of chicken broth. And then give that a stir. And the next thing we're going to put in is our cream cheese. And then we're going to stir that. And that's going to take a couple of minutes to melt that down. And I'm also going to add in while we're stirring the cream cheese is the Parmesan cheese. And then we're going to stir that up. We're going to let that cook for about three to five minutes. All right, I'm coming in here to stir this to make sure everything is completely and thoroughly mixed and the cream cheese is melting nicely. That's what we want to make sure of. So you can stir that up and then let that come to a simmer. Okay, now we're going to slice up our chicken here. Look at that guys, look how juicy that is. And there's two things I want to say at this point. I'm going to show you the chicken layered on top, but also the chicken cut up in like dice pieces and put into the pasta mix. You can do them both ways, or you can put some chicken in the pasta and some on the top. And that's what I usually do. Put some on the top so you can enjoy the pieces on top without the sauce, or you can just put it right in the sauce. So we're going to do it both ways. And I'm going to show you a picture of both of them. Look at that guys. <laughs> okay. Now I'm going to show you how to add some of the chicken to this sauce. We can put some chicken in here. 
you can chunk it whatever size you like you can make them a little bigger or you can make them a little smaller but we're going to put some of the chicken in there and then we're going to give that a stir also and then we're going to add in our penne pasta wow look at that guys so creamy so rich so you have some chicken in the sauce and then you're going to have some on top which i will show you at the end but right now we're going to add in our pasta okay i'm going to use my hand because if i use my hand you can see it better and I put a little in at a time and then we're going to stir that up. Oh my goodness, I can't wait. This is my dinner today. My daughter's already telling me she's starving. <laughs> that looks amazing and it smells just as good. <sighs> okay. And then we're going to put more pasta in here my skillet isn't that big I keep saying I'm gonna get me some bigger skillets okay I'm just gonna stir that up okay I'm going to finish stirring this up and then I'm going to show you the finished product with the chicken on top take a look at that guys rich and creamy and very seasoned and the chicken breasts are so juicy and tender and always remember you can adjust your salt some of us like a little more salt some of us like a little less absolutely amazing and the tomatoes and the red peppers were not overpowering it was just enough just the most delicious recipe you guys have to try it and if you try it please make sure you leave a comment and tell me what you think Look at that chicken breast. For those of you who deny that chicken breasts are juicy, you'll have to try it. Absolutely wonderful. So remember, if you like this video, like and subscribe and leave a comment. Thank you and have a great day.